everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this. It's, I guess, more of a satchel, kind of a backpack look. I think if you were to put the backpack handles on that I've shared in my other tutorials, I'll link the backpacks up here, then it would turn and look, you know, like a really good backpack. But I'm going to, this is more the satchel kind of style. Um, I absolutely adore it. It's got two pockets on the side here, which will fit a gift card in, or you can just pop some small, you know, treats in there, some jewelry, things like that, or just keep them as a decorative, you know, extra. And then my favorite bit is this padlock. If you saw the unboxing on, well, it was just kind of a look through the new collection from Simply Made Crafts. And I made a treasure chest with this big padlock. And I said then, I think I'm gonna use this on a lot of my gift bags. I've used the holographic cardstock there and I just think it looks really, really good. And then I've just used a Velcro dot there to close it. You can pop it through. You've got lots of room inside there. So I haven't squeezed in any of the sides on this one. So that is all the room that you get in there. If you want to reinforce it with some grey board and just cover that, then you can do. And obviously you can put a few more weighted items in it. And also with the handle, this one's just glued on. But again, if you do want to reinforce it, I would glue it and add a brad through there as well, just to give it some extra strength and maybe double up on the paper or use some fabric, you know, ribbons and things like that instead. But I love it. It's got a great size. This one measures four by, it's four by seven and a half is the actual one here. And that is, how tall was that actually? Let me just double check because um, eight. So you're looking at four by seven and a half by eight. So it's a great size. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so I have already gone and done lots of the bits, just as I always do, just to keep the videos as short as I can. This is the padlock here. So really is lovely and it's from the Treat Edition die set. So this works with the Treat Box die set. Again, I'll link in the um, kind of the collection that I shared just so you can have a look because this is an edition thing. So you can't do, yeah, you can't Treat Box Edition die set. I don't think you can do anything with that without having this other piece here. So have a little look anyway, but I think it's great. It's such a nice padlock. So. You'll be seeing that come out uh, <laughs> in more projects. Okay, so I've got my Velcro dots. I'll go through all the measurements of those. So I've done one of the little kind of side boxes here. I mean, on its own, that's actually a really cute little box as well. So, and that's four by four by three quarters of an inch. I've got my gems, some twine, punch, and then there's the padlock, but I'm gonna show you just a few little tips on putting it together and giving it more dimension and bits and pieces. I also done a little bit of embossing on that front strip. You can see there these lovely hearts and that's using this big A4 one here. You don't have to use this at all, but um, I just wanted these, um, you know, this padded pillow effect and that's by Crafts 2. Again, all of this will be linked below. And then that's my papers. And these are from the new first edition Bloom and Wonder beautiful beautiful paper pad and um, yeah it's just got some stunning colours so I've pulled out this one here that's got the peacock and on this one here you can see it's got all those flowers and like the hearts and things on there as well and that's the reverse of it so you know when you see inside there everything matches really nicely together and um, yeah just really like it so this one doesn't have a reverse but I have used this one here which pulls out the pattern of the peacocks feathers there so that's the one that I've got so you want two pieces of 12 by 12 okay and I've already prepared that one so if you've got directional paper make sure it's the right way up and along the 12 inch side you want to score at seven and a half and eleven and a half and then rotate it and score it four okay so do that on both of the 12 by 12 pieces then for the lid you will want a piece of seven and a half so this is the width of the bag again if it's directional you want it facing up the right way at that seven and a half and that is by eight and a half okay again that's optional you might not want it to come down as far as me you might want it to come down longer so when you see it all come together you can decide and then for the boxes again completely optional but you want two pieces that are ten by six. Along the six inch side you want to score at three quarters of an inch, four and three quarters and five and a half. And then along the ten inch side you want to score at four, four and three quarters, eight and three quarters and nine and a half. And do that on two pieces. And then to decorate those boxes you want two pieces that are three and three quarters squared, pattern paper. And then also for the box piece so this is actually attached, let me just show you, 
it's attached to the little flap there okay and this is a piece of four by one and a half okay so I'm gonna get rid of the scoreboard and we'll do the box while I've got this one here so first of all you just want to fold and burnish the score lines okay so you want you've got a half inch tab and then you've got the three quarter inch side there you want that on the left hand side so you'll just have three quarter inch tab on the bottom the two at the top so that's the closure so along the bottom you just want to cut up all of these score lines just to that first score line and this is going to become the base of one of the boxes okay this very end piece here just remove completely okay and then if you just take little wedges off of each of these okay so you'll have something like that and then along this side here you want to cut down that score line so you freed up your tab and then just remove that section altogether so you've taken that bit off and then again just take a little wedge off of each of those ends and then work along the top and just cut down past the first score line down to the second so that main score line and do that on all of those ones okay and then above these little tabs just cut away those top bits you just left with the squares and then this whole middle section here use my bigger scissors you want to remove that piece okay so you'll have that and then again just take some little wedges okay so that is if you turn out the right way that's what you should have so this is going to be the flap to close this will be the front in the end and these are your sides okay okay so now we can glue it together so I'm just going to run some glue just along the sides here a lot of people ask me why I change glues and the reason being is I find the Cosmic Shimmer and the Art Glitter Glue are great for that instant grab so when you're working on tabs and um, just very small areas then that's great however when you start doing a larger surface area that's when I start to bring in my Kalau glue because that will add a stiffness and it will just really firm up your projects so that's why you you know you often see me kind of chop and change between glues and um, I've just brought a new um, one of those and that's the Cosmic Shimmer okay but I do sometimes use a Kalau for tabs as well just it just takes that little bit longer to grab but once it does grab it's it's not going anywhere okay so then you will now have something like this you'll have this flap so you want this is going to fold in and that's going to fold over and we're going to attach that decorative piece there so this one here is the bottom and that's going to be the last one that you want to stick down so stick the back one down and I'm just going to pop a bit of glue on these here fold them in and then glue over all of that and then fold that one turn it upside down and just grab something to just go in there and just spread out that glue okay and now we've got our box and we might as well decorate all of that now because it's easier to do and um, before we stick it down so this one here so this is one of the three and three quarter pieces that um, it's just you know just nice just to decorate that box but again you can leave them plain you might want to do some you know use your embossing folders and add more of that quilted effect and do it maybe as a tone on tone so just that same color green again just like I've done some of the designer bags that I've made so you know there's loads of ways to decorate it but I just love this paper against this mint green cardstock so that's that one and then this one here I'm just going to add glue just to that half inch tab and then you just want to stick that other piece this is that one and a half by four just on that tab so you're just extending the the flap or the closure there so now when you fold that in and bring this down and that's what I'm going to attach these pieces onto it brings me nicely to that so I've just got some twine just going to cut a little bit off there I've got my hot glue gun on I'm going to put a blob of hot glue there. Also, I did cut 
these are all doubled up so I cut eight of these in total because you have two on each box and then I've doubled them all up so again that's optional but um, it just strengthens them a little bit so I'm going to pop the glue on there and then I'm going to pop this onto the middle of this piece like so and then with this one here you just want to add some glue kind of load it up a bit but leave it just for a few kind of like 30 seconds just so it starts to set but it keeps that dimension because this one you want that string to be able to go around sometimes I put brads on them I've done that before but um, this is just another way to do it as well so and then bring this down and you just want to have it just a little bit further down like so but if you look there mine is quite lifted so although it's stuck by the hot glue, but it's got room now for that string to go around underneath. But I'm not going to do anything more with that now. I'll leave that. I'm just going to trim that bit over there. There we go. Just tidy that end up. But there we have one of our little pockets. Okay. So now, and that's the other one there, so that's what you will have, like I said, with that string. I can just wrap around. Ooh. Get that bit out there. But yeah, I wrap mine twice. Okay. So you'll have two pieces of the 12 by 12 all scored. So again, just fold and burnish those score lines. Okay, so you will have a half inch tab and then that four inch score line on the bottom. Very similar way to the box. You want to cut up that score line there to the first score line and then cut this one again up to the first score line. But then you can remove that piece completely. Okay, and then if you just take a couple of wedges, oh, that one, and then I'm just going to take some small wedges off of there. Okay, so you'll do that on both pieces, and then I've already got my other one there, which I'd already prepared. So now we want to stick these together. So along one of the tabs, I'm just going to add my glue, just down that half inch and just stick them together and always work from the base line, so this base score, score line, get that lined up first because if you are slightly off at the top you can always just trim that, but you can't rectify the base once you've stuck it together, so yeah always focus on that one and uh, your box, at least then you know it's always going to line up, the base will always close and yeah. And then just fold the whole thing over, bring over this side with that half inch tab and just add glue all the way down there and then you can bring this one right over and it will lie down perfectly and everything will line up. Just make sure that's all secure. Okay, so now you want to decide if you've got a pattern paper that's all different, decide what you want to be on the front. Mine's worked out quite well actually that I've got this lovely image here that's going to be right in the middle. So what you want to do now is bring up the back base and then I'm going to add, and this is when, you know, if you do want to reinforce it with some, you know, grey board or just like a very thick, you know, cardstock, you might want to put a few more added layers than you want to be doing that. So I'm just going to put glue all on that tab there and fold that one in. And then again, all on that one, fold it in. And then all along this one here. And then just bring that one down. And again, just grab a ruler or something that you know allows you to get inside and just spread all that glue out. Okay, so now I've got my two boxes. And I'm going to add glue all onto the back and stick it down. It's up to you if you want to have it so it's flush with the bottom. You might want to have it a little bit higher up. So I'm going to keep mine as I've done the other one. But if I just show you, like here, you could have them a little bit higher up if you wanted to. So, you know, make it your own. It's entirely up to you how you do this. So just spend a minute just, you know, making sure that they're all stuck down and nice and straight. Because if they are flush with the bottom, it needs to be bang on. So just, you know, stand it up, make sure you've not got it, you don't want it rocking or anything like that. 
Okay, while that's drying, I've got my lid. So again, make sure it's direct. If it's directional, you know, it's facing the right way up. And I'm just going to stick this trim along the bottom. It was just a nice little bit of decoration, but you know, like a lot of things, it is optional. So you know, don't think, oh gosh, I haven't got an embossing folder, or you know, I can't do that. You know, you might just want to put some mirrored card along there because that will look nice. It'll almost be like a foam bit of hardware, you know, metal on your bag. Okay. So again, I'm just going to let that all dry, then I'm going to bring the padlock in. So what I've gone and done is I die cut the padlock in the mirrored cardstock twice. Then I also die cut it in some fun foam, so just some white foam in my case. You can use any colour, but I've done white. And then I'm going to stick those two together. But before I do that, I've got this little bit of black card just to cover the inside. Because I just then, I don't know, just in, rather than you being able to look right through it, you know, when you look into a padlock, it's quite dark, you know, because, well, this just is. But I just thought by adding that, I just think it's a nice little touch. So again, <laughs> you don't have to do any of this. You know, I'm aware not everybody's going to even have like this padlock. If you've got any of your digital machines, I'm sure you can find a file or even create your own padlock. But um, I do really like this one. And then I'm just going to stick that one over the top. And this becomes a really strong embellishment because there's four layers and each layer I've used the Kalau in between. You do need to give it you know, a few minutes to completely dry and you might want to put something weighted on top of it just because it's sometimes the fun foam has a tendency to curl when, you've, um, when you, you, know, you apply glues and stuff to them. So I'm just going to let that sit for a moment. I'll just put my, one of my pen pots on the top there. Okay, so we can go back to the lid there and then I'm going to grab my glue and I'm going to stick this onto the back, covering about half an inch, okay, like so. I'm trying to do it so that you can see but I'm just coming in there. You want to make sure it's straight, okay? There's nothing worse than this all being wonky. So when you bring it over, no, that's perfect. So if you lie it down this way, then you can go in and really push that down. But do make sure it's straight, you know, use your grid here so I can line up the bag and I can see the bag and everything is all lined up. Okay, then I'm going to grab my Velcro dots. So these are, I'm using the, I think this is the 15 mil. I use them so much, but I always do forget. Well, yeah, I think it's, it's under 16 though when I order it. So again, I will share the links. It's always 10, 16 and 20. They're the ones that I will always have and they're super sticky. So I'm going to, am I in shot there? Let's just bring this up a little bit higher. So I'm just going to pop this one in the centre there and then bring it over and it's up to you how far down you want to go I mean you might, might want to keep it quite high up you might have something quite tall to go in if I do it the right way up you can get a better idea of how it will look so you know you could have it there but I'm going to come down a little bit further and again keep everything lined up nice and straight kind of tack it in place Put my hand in there just to tack it a little bit and then you can there we go. And then just go in there and just really stick them down. But now, I'll just try and line it up each time. There we go. And there's your lid. Cute. Love it. Love, love, love. And then I'm going to stick, oh, this is another bit from that same die set, but again, I just put some fun foam and then that holographic. And I'm going to just use. I won't use hot glue for this bit because it might melt the foam. So I'm just going to use normal glue. Actually, I'm going to undo this. It's easier to work with it this way. And then again, you just want to sit that in the centre. Okay, and then I've got some hot glue and I'm going to pop a little blob of it just on the top there. And then just sit that. Just carefully in the centre there. Okay, so there's the padlock detail. So again, that will kind of weight that down a little bit as well. Stick that back into place. 
once you've got something in this it might be easier to also do it up because it's obviously against you know a hollow um, area right now but there you go be cool and then for the handle I've done my handle very basic it's just one inch by 12 well this is actually a four length so it's about 11 and three quarters so um, you know it's that's entirely up to you and like I said some of you might be using thread and um, thread sorry rope or ribbon and things like that but I just stick them together so just put some glue about half an inch over the other one and I think I end up trimming this down just a little bit but you want to take this again it's up to you but I think I did I'm going to take a little bit off of that end and that end just so I keep the join in the center there we go and then I'm going to use my Kalau again just because it's super strong but if you do you know, you've got more weighted things in there, then add a brad through there as well. And then I'm just going to stick it oh, <laughs> right up in the camera there. Just lay that down in the middle of the side there. And then I'm going to finish it with one of these little decorative um, embellishments as well. So just one there and then stick the other one on the other side. Because these are quite large, I always say it, but I never trust the sticky pads that are already on them. So I always like to just add a little bit of hot glue or just add, you know, another liquid glue or something, but it will just ensure that they won't fall off and just pop that one in the middle there. These are gorgeous. I've had these for quite a while now because I remember buying quite a lot. I think I might've got them from the range, but they're just gorgeous. They're, they remind me of the holographic cardstock. I think that's why I'm always drawn to them. because I just love the rainbow colors that they pick up. There it is, all finished. I love it. I just adore my padlock and yeah, you can carry it. It's got loads of room. I like all these extra pockets. You could even add one inside. It just gives the person more things to explore and add a nice gift tag to it as well. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. There we go. I'm just about getting both in shot. You can see the different colors there, but yeah, I think they're fantastic. So I can't wait to give these ones out. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up if you have and consider subscribing so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.